Welcome back to another episode of Car Clips in the original car. Sorry, Vanny, not today. Back to you today because next week I am getting my Wetzel's Powered by Thirst food truck. This is a this is literally the nicest food truck you've ever seen. Brand new, custom built. It's got a hood with double decked ovens with four slots to put in trays of pretzels in there, a rolling counter, a heating thing. It's literally the nice, it's a custom wrap. It's the nicest food truck you've ever seen. And I'm here today on Card Clips to tell you how I'm gonna blow it up. Because I've never done a food truck. I've done a catering line now, I've done the stores, but I've never done a food truck. And I've always wanted to go into this game because obviously I work closely with people in the food industry, people that are doing food trucks. And I've always had my take in my brain of how am I going to blow this up if I was doing it? Or how would I advise someone to blow up a food truck? Well, now I'm going right into it. I'm jumping headfirst into this. I made a huge investment to buy this food truck. And my plan to market it is to one, run paid Facebook ads to get prepaid events. I'm going to, over anything, want to do prepaid events as many days as I possibly can. After I fill the week up with prepaid events, then number two, I'm gonna do pre-planned drops using my Instagram following. I'm gonna build a huge following by crap like you're, I'm doing right now, and then I do with Thirst, and then I do it with Ethan from Thirst. I'm gonna build a huge following on an Instagram account. I've never even posted or put a profile picture on that account, and I've already got like 700 followers on it. That's because I've been talking about it, and that's the same thing I'm gonna be able to do once I start going hard on it. So first, I'm gonna build this following up and then I'm gonna do advertised drops so I'm gonna do drops uh, in Saratoga Springs I'm gonna do drops in the Ace Hardware and Harriman I'm gonna be in downtown Salt Lake I'm gonna do advertised drops on private property I'm gonna work a deal with the property owner and we've already mapped out a bunch of different ones that we can and we're gonna be hey we're gonna be in Saratoga tonight we're gonna be in Draper tonight we're gonna be in Salt Lake we're gonna be in Bountiful we're gonna be in Ogden and we're gonna fill the rest of the week up with that and if we've got any spots left open or we didn't slip one in, we're gonna try to go to food truck roundups only as a last resort. I don't, we wanna try to see if we can use good marketing, brand equity, awareness to not have to pay huge food truck rally, huge food truck event fees. You can go direct to the customer with good marketing. This is my take on it. That's how I think I'm gonna do it. And it's a different way than most, most food trucks. Most food trucks are just going to events and selling. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna rely on someone else to set that all up for me and get the customers there. You can get your own customers there, and I'm about to prove it, I'm positive. I'm gonna be the top revenue Wetzel's food truck. I would do anything to do it at this point, so I'm positive that I'm, we're gonna have the top revenue Wetzel's food truck. I'm set on it, I'm determined. I It's literally the thing I'm obsessed about right now. My plan is to blow this food truck up and do more revenue in the next four months with it than anyone's done in a whole year. And then I'm gonna follow that up with opening the first Wetzel's Powered by Thirst in St. George this summer. I'm excited. 